You know, when I started collecting sports cards officially in 1972, it was because of a convenience store at our the local grade school I attended, Nash Creek, up in northern New Brunswick. Now, I didn't get this guy's card up until the Regal packages, which was sort of a surprise package uh, bag at a time, very popular in Canada, were putting the 1972 Topps football cards in uh, in these bags. Now, uh, how it worked back then, you rubbed a bag and it felt like there was cards in it. There was going to be cards, there was being three and five per bag. Now, I got this guy, I think it was my third Topps football card in that pack, and I think there was a Dallas Cowboy in it, um, Herb Adderley? And uh, he was number three. It wasn't his regular card. He was in his in-action card. At the time, they would, uh, you know, black out the logos, but the player would be, action, uh, be in action. And I knew right away this guy played with the Chicago Bears. But uh, what really stood out for me was the strange spelling of his last name. Now, today we're talking about the very handsome, but the very, very, what you call uh, low Low quarterback rating uh, uh, player who had a decade in the NFL and had, I think, a 48.5 rating. Great runner, but uh, a no pass. Bobby Douglas. Now, Robert Gilchrist Douglas uh, went to El Dorado High School, born in Manhattan, Manhattan, Kansas. He played the NFL, um, a majority of his career with Chicago, who drafted him in the second round of 69 NFL draft. During his career, he also played for the Chargers, the Saints, and the Packers. He retired after the 78 season, after playing a full decade in the NFL. Now, uh, for all the women in my family who finally saw what Douglas looked like, my God, it was like the blonde Joe Namath. Uh, my cousin, she was only 12 at the time, said, where can I get a poster this guy? This is the most handsome guy I've ever, I've ever seen. Well, we all know that people from Kansas are nice looking. Now, he was raised in El Dorado, Kansas, where his father was a football coach. He eventually attended the University of Kansas. Now, Douglas was a two-time All-League Conference selection in 67-68 and an All-American in 68. Now, during his senior season, he guided the Jayhawks to a 92 record, a share of the Big 8 Conference title, and a spot in the 69 Orange Bowl. That year, he passed for 1,316 yards and 12 touchdowns during his final years as Jayhawk, and was seventh in the Heisman Trophy voting. Now, in 72, uh, well after he was drafted playing for the Bears, Douglas set the record for the most rushing yards by a QB in one season. The record stood for 35 years. In a 14-game 72 season, he ran for 968 yards and 8 TV, TDs on 141 carries. Now, only five quarterbacks, three in the CFL history and two in the NFL, have since run for over 1,000 yards. With Douglas starting, the Chicago Bears had a tough record, 13-31-1. Now, in November 4, 73 game against the Packers, he ran for four touchdowns and a 31-17 win. He and Billy Kilmer are the only quarterbacks in NFL history to rush for four touchdowns in a single game. In five seasons from 71 to 75, he played in 47 games and amassed 2,040 rushing yards. During that span, he averaged 43.4 rushing yards per game, the third highest rushing yards per game average over a five-season span for a quarterback. Now, Michael Vick uh, ranks first with 54.1 yards a game over a five-year span from 02 to 06. However, Douglas had a little success as a passer, going 507 for 1178 with only 36 touchdowns and 64 interceptions with a quarterback passer rating of 48.5 during his 10 season NFL career. Now, after his pro career was over, he briefly played minor league baseball in the Chicago White Sox organization. In 1980, he pitched four games for the Iowa Hawks, where he had seven innings logged with 13 walks and failed to record a strikeout. Now, his personal life was a lot of ups and downs as well, he was married to a former Playboy model called Carol O'Neill uh, uh, for a number of years. Uh, the four, he had four children together, and he be, be, became stepfather to her son. Now, he came back in the news actually almost 10 years ago, uh, almost 11 years ago now, when he was arrested on charges of trespassing on April 13, 2011. So... A very interesting career, but when he was playing in Kansas, I know when the Orange Bowl was on 
everybody was saying how Douglas was a can't miss prospect, either as a starter or a backup in the NFL. And if he even if he ever could learn how to throw a consistent pass, no offense, he was all run, no pass, which would work in the CFL of 1974, but not in the NFL of 1974, although he had some success on an irregular basis. Now, what really stood out, no pun intended for Bobby, 6'4", 225, where a 6'4", quarterback was very rare in the NFL. Now, uh, again, NFL draft, second round, 41st overall. Chicago Bears... Uh, 69 to 75, Chargers in 75, Saints in 76 and 77, and again the Packers in 78. Now, uh, the if you want to find out uh, more uh, up of, on uh, Douglas, there's numerous uh, Kansas uh, University sites that talk about it, and um, uh, uh, according to large Chicago published reports, he was considered a runner of a kind quarterback because, you know, he had charisma, he had the legs, but like I said, if he could take Tom Brady's arm, uh, genetic and put it in him, he would have been a superstar. It's like, uh, at the time, Chicago was uh, coming out to Gail Sayers' bed, Butkus era, and like I said, he was a darling of the Chicago media for a number of years because uh, the potential is like this. After five years, you lose your potential. But all I can say, if he would have went to CFL for a year or two years, worked on his passing and come back, I think he would have been a number one quarterback well, like somebody for, like Buffalo, or the, he was an AFC quarterback in the NFC. And, uh, you know, sports is funny, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, you should have used him maybe as a wide receiver or a, uh, like a partial tight end to, you know, uh, play multiple uh, multiple roles, but I said but you know, when you come from Kansas and you're quarterback, boys and boys, you got to be good Kansas got some really great athletes for college football, so that's the story of the great uh, Bobby Douglas, if you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment or subscribe, and that 1972 Tops football set, no helmets no logos, but my god, what a what a beautiful set to collect. I've been collecting over the years, and every time I see that very basic design, it makes me very emotional, because when you're kids, you know, the faces and names are everything. And even my friends in my class, I was in grade two, and the, even the teacher said, why did he, why did he misspell uh, his last name? And it took us a few years to, to be convinced that it wasn't an improper spelling. Because, as you know, in Canada, Kent Douglas with only one S was a very popular hockey player, so anyway, sometimes a, ba a bad spelling might be the correct spelling, is what I'm saying from a media standpoint. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, requests are always encouraged, and uh, if you're enjoying our vintage podcast, let us know. Have a good day. Bye.